as the Taliban took over and you and your fiance realized you needed to get out of there, was there ever a point when you didn't think you would make it out of Afghanistan? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, for me, you know, I was sitting in the car, I was telling my fiance, like, this is a miracle. It's a miracle. That's what I think. I didn't think yeah. that we would make it out alive here. One thing that I did actually was, um, it might be quite shocking to you. I said to my fiance, I'm gonna ask you, if, if God forbidden, I get caught alive, just shoot me. You know, just shoot me in the head and don't let me take me alive. Because I was more scared of being caught alive and you know, being paraded in front of the cameras or being ridiculed or being raped. Speaking out against the Taliban for years and openly promoting women's rights, Ariana told me she has long been a target of the terrorist organization, which also disapproved of her refusal to wear a hijab, a religious head covering while performing. I remember uh, once uh, we got this, this message from them saying that, you know, there's a car, a suicide bomber, like right now on the road looking for you. Ariana says she narrowly escaped a car bombing just outside the studio where she shot TV talent show Afghan Star. It was just one of the many threats for the singer, who also experienced public calls for her murder. There was a direct order for direct you to be order beheaded. on the national TV to, for my head to be cut off. And um, I... And I think, I remember, we have another month for the show to go. And I was living in fear. Anything can happen to you in Afghanistan. What is it that you're wearing? Armor jacket. And if they shoot you here, nothing will happen to you. Unless they shoot you in the head. Did you ever think about stopping, quitting, saying this isn't worth it? There may have been uh, points and then the messages that I would get from women. You know, how I, I inspire them. That would just, you know, give me those great feelings again, saying, you know what, I'm doing something great here, so let me continue. Give context for us, for those who may not fully understand just how difficult what you have pulled off is for a woman in your position. Um, how unlikely is what you've accomplished as a superstar, a singer, an activist? It's, it's been uh, very challenging, of course. You know, uh, at times I, I just see uh, singers and, and artists from other countries. Like I look at Beyonce and I look at Jennifer Lopez and I'm like, oh my God, they're so lucky that, you know, they don't fear for their lives. Nobody is there to like kill them because they sing. Mm -hmm. 